How did these characters get into Class 1A? My whole life, I've never really been a huge anime watcher until about last year when some of my friends recommended a show to me called My Hero Academia. All my friends know how much I love superheroes, and if you've seen some of my videos before, you may know that I'm even making my own comic book. That's why I freaking love this show so much, and I really, and it really helped me enter this verse of anime. There's so much I would want to talk about with this series, but there's one thing that has been on my mind lately. As this series progresses, we all know that Deku eventually makes it into Class 1A, which is pretty much the highest ranking class with the most promising students out of the whole school. So I guess my question is, how the hell did characters like this get put into Class 1A? For example, Mineta. I like Mineta, I think he's hilarious. But his quirk is to throw sticky balls? How did he get into that class when someone like Shinso didn't? It might all come down to combat ability. When they went up against the robots for the entry exam, it makes sense that someone with Shinso's quirk maybe struggled a little bit. But someone like Ojiro? His quirk is literally tail. Yes, he may have some great combat ability, but he struggled in a fight against Kaibara. Someone who literally spins his hands really fast. Like, what? This argument can be used with a lot of the characters like Saro and his tape quirk, or Hagakure and her invisibility. But I just really don't get it. Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki are probably some of the most powerful heroes in the whole verse, but their power levels compare nothing to someone like Mineta. Am I wrong?